Ladies and gentlemen, it is January 30th, 2018. In a short amount of time, we will experience a super blue blood moon below me lunar eclipse. So I was poking around for some correlations, causations, and constipations to see if this 150 year rare event had anything connected to earthquakes and volcanoes and I only came across one volcano eruption in 1866 the Santori volcano but man we got so many volcanoes popping off right now like one volcano in one year ain't nothing compared to what this year is you know what I'm saying we had three major volcano eruptions last week on the same day we had the 7.3 downgraded to a 6.9 earthquake in Alaska that caused the tsunami warnings and watches <clears throat> so as you can see here at Forbes we're talking about how the rare what you got is a blood moon I don't even know what that means anyway so you got a blood moon then you got super moon and you got a lunar eclipse and those three things haven't happened on the same day since 1866 and so I was looking it up and I accidentally typed in the wrong number and I came across this the 1886 Charleston earthquake go ahead and pull out your Charleston chew and then do your Charleston dance where you do your hands on the knees thing or whatever this was a 7.3 to 6.9. Wow, coincidence. Earthquake. That happened. It caused 60 deaths due to the intraplate earthquake and between 5 million and 6 million in damage to 2,000 billions buildings in southeastern United States. It was one of the most powerful and damaging earthquakes to hit the east coast of the United States. You see, because very little to no historical ac earthquake activity had occurred, which is unusual for any seismic area. So that's where it hit. In Charleston. Man, I used to like this Charleston cheese, especially the strawberry, but that is not here nor there. You probably really don't care. And so, <clears throat> these are the earthquakes of the day. We've had a pretty active earthquake week. Um, and we just had one in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. You know, Alaska's still popping off. You had a pretty decent one. Up by Alaska about five. And I was want to remind you at the moment, we do have a very active American volcano and giant rain bands. And uh, active volcanoes here. All right. So that's a pretty big earthquake. And I was like, well, what are the biggest earthquakes in history on the East Coast? And that's what this video is about. Though it took three minutes to get to the point. So if you're new to Thor News, sorry, dude, that's the way I do it. Of course, the first one that all truthers and people who are doomcasters know is the New Madrid in 1811 to 1812. There's a magnitude 7.5 to 7.7. The sequence of three very large earthquakes is referred to as the New Madrid earthquakes. And they rank as some of the largest in the United States since it's settlement by Europeans. And then what happened? So the next one is what I'm talking about. 70 years later. You had a Charleston, South Carolina, ma magnitude 7.3. Which I find interesting. Fascinating. And that thing would have done a lot of damage. Can you imagine if that happened today? A, it would freak everybody out because nobody's prepared for it. B, we would have to adjust those millions of dollars right to billions possibly trillions for inflation it just goes to show how much we don't know about the inner workings of our planet from the core to the magma to the tectonic plates to the lava because our major science groups like NASA have been putting all that money into dark matter and how the solar system was formed they aren't you know uh, in my opinion, Dutch since and suspicious observers are your top earthquake scientists 
and the professional agencies really don't give us jack shit when it comes to decent earthquake predictions. Where was I? So yeah, earthquakes do happen on the East Coast. So let me read through these boring stats, and we will be done. So then, Mississippi County, magnitude 6.6, .6, one of the largest earthquakes to occur in the central Mississippi Valley. It downed chimneys, cracked walls, and shattered windows. Hope it didn't happen. I'm glad it didn't happen during Christmas. Wait. Santa Claus is fake. That joke would have been stupid. Northeast Arkansas. Magnitude 6.3. Damage was severe in Memphis, Tennessee. Where walls cracked, windows broke, and one building collapsed. The earth sank in places near New Madrid, Missouri. So yeah, apparently the 1800s were pretty popping off for earthquakes in the East Coast. Now it's all in Oklahoma. Number five, Giles County, Virginia, 1897. So the top five or six were all in the 1880s. Magnitude 5.9, this earthquake was the largest in intensity and aerial extent in Virginia in recent history. Damage reports include down chimneys, and changes in the flow of springs. I guess, you know, that was frustrating to them because it took them a long time to build a chimney and then they had fire and they could control it and it was like, awesome. So everybody's like, oh my God, my chimney's broken. It's busted. My chimney done busted. New York City, New York. Wow. 1884. Magnitude 5.5. This severe earthquake affected an area extending along the Atlantic coast from southern Maine to central Virginia and west to Cleveland, Ohio, where chimneys were knocked down and walls were cracked. I wonder what year windows were invented. Nobody seems upset that the windows were busted. Maybe that was it. 1990s. Wait, I'm going to type that in at the end. What's the beat? Lake New Hampshire, 1940. Magnitude 5.5. Two earthquakes about the same intensity happened four days apart. Although the second shock was shorter, it was somewhat more intense than the first. And then there's always Southern Illinois, 1968, magnitude 5.4. This was the largest earthquake in Illinois history. The quake was felt in all or part of 23 different states. Wow. Fascinating. Southeast Illinois, 2008. Really? 5.4 earthquake. This quake happened about 20 miles southeast of Olney, Illinois. A few buildings sustained minor structural damage. You mean like their chimneys? Why don't people report on chimney damage in 2008, man? How am I going to know if their chimneys were okay or not? Now I won't be able to sleep at night. Great. And a corn ice fell from one building in Louisiana, in Louisville, Kentucky. What's a corn ice, man? Uh, I don't, there's jokes there, but I don't want to make any of them. Number 10. Blue Mountain Lake, New York. 1983. Interesting. Magnitude 5.3. One old chimney collapsed. There we go. Kick ass. But it was an old chimney. Ah, <sighs> About 20 tombstones slid or rotated. That would have been creepy to see, huh? And some minor crap. Craps formed in plaster walls. That would sound like a horror film. Tombstones started sliding and rotated, and then minor crap started forming in the plaster walls. I'd be like, oh my god, it's poltergeist all over again. Please, Lord, don't let Satan knock down our chimney. All right. So there you go. Earthquakes, they're fascinating. So, that was it. Man, we got a clip coming. I couldn't find anything that correlated it to anything involving earthquakes or volcanoes. So I would, I would have like a 3% chance for an earthquake or weirdness. And remember last time, it was weird. I was looking at my videos, and last time we had a eclipse, I made a video joking that I'd looked at the eclipse three times, so I was going to go blind, and I didn't know what to do with my last hours of sight. 
And then the next 10 to 20 videos are all about Hurricane Harvey. So no, maybe no weirdness will happen during the eclipse. But I got a feeling the next two weeks, probably going to be weird. But that's just life, right? Like, what is normal even anymore? Anyway, God bless y'all. Stay cool, be cool. And if you appreciate love, Thor News, you can go ahead and contribute to keeping this channel up and running. I will leave a PayPal link, a Patron link, in the description box below. And yes, I'll do a weather video later, today, tonight. And then, around midnight, they'll probably just talk about pressure. Because are you even looking at this thing, man? Oh my. Alright, everybody, stay cool. I love you. I have no fear. Let's try and relearn how to have fun again. Can't just look at everything and go, doom. Because that gets old. And one of the biggest sins in the world is being boring. I mean, that might not prevent you from getting in heaven. But it's just, you know, life's too short to be boring, man. All right, peace out. I'm done. No, seriously. I'm not going to. I'm going to hit the button right now.